father had beautiful hands. And I can remember on Saturday nights before he'd go on his date with my mom, he would sit on the side of his bed and put his hands on his night table, and he would polish his nails with clear nail polish. And his philosophy was, Diane, I prefer to earn my money and pay professionals to make the repairs. You can think of it as like this, you're supporting the economy. And I really thought my father had beautiful hands, but I was a bit jealous of my girlfriends whose fathers had dirty hands and they were doing things. They were under cars, in the pool shed, in the cellar, making things, fixing things. I thought that was cool. So it's not a surprise that I grow up and I pick partners who could do things with their hands. So my first partner, he made me a set design. I was working as a choreographer, and I requested a three meter high slide for the stage. He made it. My second partner made us a beautiful loft bed. And my third partner, <laughs> come older. Uh, <laughs> he was good at tinkering with computers, broken coffee machines and cars, and um, figuring it out. So what does a single mother do when her washing machine breaks? I'm looking at it. It's full of water, it's red and soapy, and I know why. It's because I decided at the last minute to put my doormat in the washing machine with these very thick bristles, and the machine has protested. And without thinking, I just go to the uh, bottom of the machine, there's a little door, and not think of the consequences, I just opened it. <laughs> right. So it doesn't look like much water when it's in the machine, but when it's spread out in the bathroom, and my son comes out, he has his underwear on, and he's naked and just splashing around, he thinks it's fantastic. And I take every towel that I can find in the house to try to soak it up. What are my options? One, call professional, support the economy. Expensive. Two, Throw out the machine, buy a new one, two, three hundred, right? More expensive, and it's not environmentally friendly. Third option, fix it myself. I don't come from a family of people who fix things. This just doesn't happen for generations. But the fourth option is not an option. So I go back to the third option, and I go on YouTube, and maybe you've done this before, I actually find a handyman explain how to fix a model of the machine that I have. And I study this. I, I stop, rewind, and taking notes. I really want to be able to do this. The problem is, in the video, he doesn't have rusty screws. So I have three screws. I've got them up, but the fourth one is really rusty. I got the oil spray out, and I'm giving it all my might. And it's not moving at all. And in the back of my head is the voice, I told you, you can't fix a washing machine. And it's happening so often that I believe it. I can't fix a washing machine. Option, is it eight minutes? No. Okay. <laughs> Just checking. Oh, option four. Just thinking about option four, I start to have cramps in my stomach and my jaw gets tight because option four is ask someone for help. The only person I could ask for help who could fix this is my ex. <laughs> I pick up the phone, I put it down. I can see his face, that look of triumph. Mm -hmm. So you do need me. Oh. I dial. Hi. <laughs> How are you? It's Diane. I know. So after work, he comes with his toolbox. We're in my bathroom. It's white tile. It's very white and surreal. There's a draft coming through the windows. There's wet towels everywhere, and there's mirrors everywhere where I can see my small, needy self next to my ex with his big toolbox. And it's like an operating room. So he says, Englander, here. Uh, Schraubzieher, with the slit, here. Schrauben. Here. And um, 
He fixes it. He's done very quickly. As always. But I had this gut feeling he didn't do it like the handyman in the video because I he only watched it once and I literally watched it at least ten times. And again the voices say, of course he did it right. He knows how to fix washing machines. So I don't say anything, he goes. And I put a load of laundry in the washing machine, close it, and leave the room. And an hour later, I hear Dorian splashing away. <laughs> Mom, it's a swimming pool again. And there's not even any dry towels in the house to wipe it up this time. Option four is no longer an option. <laughs> right? I have to rewrite my family history. I am going to fix this machine, and I'm going to trust my gut feeling that there's something with that rubber around the, the circular window. And so I look at the video again, and step by step, with love and conviction, I redo the rubber. I put it back together, put the screws on, get a chair, put it on, and I wait. It's going around and around, and it's a couple minutes. The floor is dry. Ten minutes. Next cycle starting. It's dry. Half an hour. I'm, I won't leave the front. I don't want it to leak again. It's dry. I fixed it. And I'm sitting there staring at the water, slushing around in circles. And I realize, don't listen to those inner voices from the past with those beliefs that don't make sense anymore, that are not true. Trust your gut.